Well, today is the 31st of December. It's a Monday. That's colored Sands Forest Reserve over there. I think it's actually supposedly closed today for hunting, but there's, I don't see a sign on the gate there. But according to the website, it's closed. This is the main entrance to Sugar River Alder, which is where we're going to go. We've been here a number of times. When I was in town, it was 28, I think, it said on a bank. But it feels a lot colder out here. It's kind of windy. Oh. Looks like there's been a fair number of hikers in here and at least a couple skiers. See some ski tracks, lots of boot prints. Now, I'm not sure that those boxes may be where the beekeeper keeps the boxes of bees or beehives. We're going to head north here along these power lines. I think this goes up to the old entrance. I haven't seen a soul out here. If I recall correctly, this goes the old entrance, but I don't remember for sure. It's been a while. Might have to cheat and look at the map. Now well, this is the north entrance. It's Pretty much closed off now. I don't think they use it except for the maintenance people. There's a well here, picnic table, pit toilet. Unfortunately, it's iced in. So, you know, I had to find a tree. But, Wilma and I stopped here. We had lunch. And uh, now we're going to go back. Uh, that fence line over there is Wisconsin. There's the old entrance. It's actually right on the Wisconsin border and you had to actually go into Wisconsin to get to this preserve at one time. Haven't seen a soul out here. Haven't seen any critters either. Now we did see a bird. Pretty sure the, the deer are smart enough to hide. I think it's deer season. Well, we're up along the Wisconsin border right now, and the fence is gone. Glad to see it. Never liked having fences in forest preserves. Seems kind of silly to fence a deer in or out. Can you get some water? Might be better to come over here, Creaky. Here, you can get under here without having to go in the water. Look. No, not that way. Down here under the bridge. Look. Look at it, girl. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Go under the bridge. Ah. I'm not sure why, but Wilma decided to go up on this little bridge. I'm not even sure why there is a bridge, given as there's these culverts that there's a kind of a dike over. You ready to go, Creaky? She wants to go back that way. All right. Come on, we're, we're going to go up this way. Come on. Well, this is the end of the trail. It just stops about here. Not sure where officially it stops, but... According to the map, this is a sedge meadow, I think. Home and I walked out there one time. It's more of a swamp than anything else. At least it was when we were here before. We might go up that way and look around just for the heck of it. We've been up in here a couple times. Actually, maybe just once. It's kind of nice. Nobody else is ever up here. It's easy to get kind of turned around though because there's no trail. Just be careful where you go. We are uh, well inside Wisconsin. That cornfield over there is, you know, it abuts the uh, state line. I think this is that little canal or whatever it is that pretty much blocks access any farther. I was never able to find any way around it. It goes all the way over to the river. The guy from the DNR from Wisconsin told me you could walk over it when it's frozen. He's done it, but I don't know if it's frozen enough to walk over right now or not. Maybe we'll go see. I see rabbit tracks out there. What do you think, Wilma? Looks pretty low, too. May, may not be any water in it. I don't know why they built it. It's kind of, it's obviously man-made. At least I think it is. Well, I gave it a good pounding with my stick. It looks like it's pretty solid. But it also looks like... <laughs> you can see where the rabbits went across it and they are sliding across. I don't have anything with grips on them, so I'm not going to go across. Maybe sometime when I come back with ice shoes. Or snowshoes. Something. It's pretty up here, though. It'd be really nice to be able to get across there. Well, I took a picture of those two little signs. One says conservation easement, and the, other, the triangular one says Illinois Nature Preserve. I'm pretty sure this cannot be an Illinois Nature Preserve because I'm pretty sure we're in Wisconsin. Probably by a couple hundred yards, so I don't know what that means. If I remember correctly, we came out here once before, and this, where we're standing, was all water. So we're going to see if we can get a little farther. I don't know how far we'll get, but we we'll have to be careful. I don't think we can get past that pile of debris up there, but we'll see. Now well, that is ice right there. Just beyond where my boot is, so I'm not going to walk on the ice. I don't... It appears to not be real thick, but it's probably pretty slippery, even though Wilma's out there walking on it. She has four on the floor. And there's all this grass and stuff that's grown up through it, so it's probably not real slippery, but you never know. It probably edged by up there, but I think I tried that once before, and it just didn't work very well. Oh, I heard a woodpecker. Well, we must be back in Illinois. Huh? I thought for sure this whole field was in Wisconsin, but maybe not. 
it says boundary of Winnebago County Forest Preserve District. That would have to be in Illinois, you would think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they can cross boundaries. Well, according to my GPS, we actually are still in Illinois, so I guess those signs make sense. And it looks to me like that water body is actually still in Illinois, but just barely. Like, according to the GPS track, we went within, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 feet of Wisconsin, so who knows up here. It's really hard to say where anything is. But I don't think we actually went into Wisconsin there, although I'm pretty sure that that cornfield there, or whatever kind of field it is, is mostly in Wisconsin, so I don't know. Looks like somebody done get at Wilma. Wilma's sniffing the leftovers of whoever it was that got at.